855-839-1210. All right. Joe Gale out here today with a cup of Joe, and uh, routinely we uh, do this when we're in Montgomery County. Joe, thanks for doing that, and I could tell you had a lot of people that come out here. Yeah, good morning, Tom. Thanks for having me here. Uh, when you do a cup of Joe here, and you brought along your brain trust here uh, along with you, what are people talking to you about here locally? Well, the cup of Joe scenario, that happened during the campaign last year right. for county commissioner. What I did was I went into the living rooms of homes all right. across Montgomery County, took my campaign directly to the voters and listened to their concerns and qu took questions, gave them my background and my platform, and that's how we did it. And it kept gaining momentum. So I continue to do that as county commissioner. I still have meet and greets and homes across the county. Right. And uh, I think that one-on-one -on -one connection, you can't beat it. And yeah. Now, how do you hear Montgomery County, as you know, this is a linchpin. Whoever the Republican nominee is, they can't win. We know what's... The going to happen in Philadelphia coming out of, I don't think as much this time as with President Obama, a 400,000 vote deficit. And then if you have the surrounding counties, only vaguely Republican, or I think Mitt Romney may have lost Montgomery County the last time around. Yes, he lost. He lost. You can't win Pennsylvania. So what's the buzz out here in Montgomery County where the Republican Party is in such flux? Your election is an example of a new breed coming in to restore that. What's going on with the infrastructure as, as we get close to the election? Well, my election last year was a microcosm right. of what we see on the national level. And I ran an anti-establishment, grassroots campaign, right. a very unique campaign. And that's I won in Montgomery County. So what I see when I'm out talking to voters door to door at my cup of Joe's is they're still they're tired of the establishment. They're mm -hmm. tired of politics as usual. Right. And I hear a lot of positive, positives about Donald Trump. Um, people find it refreshing. It's something new. He tells it how it is. And people are getting on board. You see that all across the nation with Nevada recently, mm -hmm. you know, South Carolina. Right. And I think Pennsylvania, Montgomery County is leaning in that direction. Would you endorse as we get closer to the primary? Are you going to be called upon to endorse anybody? Oh, absolutely. I'm 100%. I'm a Trump guy. I've been behind him. <laughs> I, uh, my, primary, my primary election was in May 2015. Right. Trump didn't announce until June. So I was kind of the anti-establishment in Pennsylvania, Montgomery County area. Then when he announced in June, it just became nationally. What's, what's the attraction? Well, how about Ted Cruz? There's another anti-establishment guy. Ted Cruz, you know, I think he does a, a good job in the Senate. He's mm. definitely concerned solid conservative, right. but he doesn't energize the base as much as I see Donald Trump doing. You know, he's, I don't know if it's his voice or electability factor, people might find him a little bit boring, but Trump, it just, he tells it right how it is, and wow. people are so fed up with the politics right now, Washington and Harrisburg and local government, mm -hmm. that it's their desperate need of somebody who's a voice for the people. Even in a place like Montgomery County, we were always told that even your election, an affable conservative, you have the Ronald Reagan type of qualities, a Donald Trump can win out of here in Gentile. You know, there's Republican women. You know, that's what we always hear. You can't be going too far. And these women in the suburbs, uh-uh. Yeah, but I, I think if there was a primary in Montgomery County, if right. it made it this far to Pennsylvania, I think Donald Trump would come out ahead in Montgomery County, and then also in Pennsylvania, because Montgomery County is the third most populated county in the whole Commonwealth here, Right, and it does carry a lot of weight in national politics, and I'm proud to endorse Donald Trump because, you know, next to Pat Toomey, our United States Senator, I represent more Republicans than any, any other elected official in the state, even though Montgomery County's um, more Democrat in registration, mm -hmm. it's still more populated than any congressional district throughout. Nice factoid you worked in right. here to the bio. That's so, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I feel like this is a, a solid movement for the conservatives here because we finally have a conservative voice. I'm not bashful. Everybody knows that. Trump's not bashful. So I tell it how it is, just like Trump. I'm a little different, you know, different hair, smaller wallet. But I okay. think it's a good momentum builder. Well, Joe, thank you. Thanks as always. Thanks for doing the cup of Joe out here today, too. It's a real uh, a brand that you put out. So we hope to do more at Andy's Diner in the future. Yeah, it's great to see all these people at Andy's. All right. had a lot of fun. Thank you, Joe. Thank all you, right, There was the uh, sort of the semi-official. I'm sure there'll be a bigger one somewhere at the Montgomery County Courthouse for Donald Trump from Joe Gale. All righty, 855-839-1210. And his take on a place like Montgomery County being fertile, Donald Trump country.